have my signal. Unleash hell.
what we all do is this moment. So close to my heart, not a fashion statement on the right to tear apart others.
use our facilities but and uh, you know do it themselves but we ended up doing it most of the work so it just never panned out okay well um do you still do dog washings oh yeah we still grow we just don't have the cell service okay because my dog Muffy, um well it, it's a bit of a uh, kind of a beast like story but i <laughs> well um she shits on herself and she she has this habit she she lays in it at night and oh, she geez. it smears all in her in her uh in her uh, wet in her coat yeah. and um you know it, it just doesn't look real shiny and and i, I like my dogs I, I have um show dogs you see and and I, I like them to look nice you know especially muffy because sometimes when she refuses to take a bath after laying in her shit i have to give her a good good kick in the head and I mean, I, I just don't like to because sometimes I feel as though I'm abusing her. Um, could, could I, is there any, um, tips or suggestions you may be able to give me on this? Oh, gosh. Are you, are you kenneling her? Um, well, I'm thinking about it. I mean, when you, at night, if she's doing this at night. Yeah, well, see, that, that was a bit of the problem before I, I did that and she really got shit all over herself. Oh, gosh. Um, she was eating it at one point, but I finally had to hit, give a real good hit blow to the head. And I believe she quit that. I haven't caught her in the act of eating shit anymore, but she she still has a problem in smearing it in her coat. Uh, I have no idea what most dogs, uh, if you put them in a kennel, they don't like, you know, going to the bathroom. Yes. Where they're, where they're laying, you know, um, or where they're at. Well, I... One one um, friend I have named named um, L Lou Bob um, suggested a whip. Do you think? Do no, no. You don't think a whip would help any? Uh, if I don't, I I would think that maybe she has some kind of uh, medical. I mean, uh, problem with not being able to hold it or something. Yes. Well, it does come out a bit uh, funny, uh, if you know what I mean. Yeah. The best thing I would do is maybe sometimes check with... it, sometimes it even has blood. Ooh, well, then you better, you better check with the vet and let him know maybe there's something physically, you know, inside. You know, maybe there's some kind of infection or something. Well, um, there is a male dog next door. Do you believe that could have any sort of um, bearing on the situation? No, not, not if she's doing this. I think it's more of a, a, you know, something physically wrong with her. And you need need to check with your veterinarian. Okay. I mean, if you have if you have show dogs, I'm sure you take them to the vet. Uh huh. Uh, I would. Uh, check with the veterinarian, tell him what's happening, and let him take a look. You know. Well, the, my veterinarian, um, he he said that I should um, beat her, but I mean that I mean I I tried that at one point, and you know I mean I just really didn't like doing it that way. Yeah. Now sometimes you know you can give animals dosage of uh, the same thing like humans, you know, like aspirins uh -huh. for you know pain. You can give them Pepto Bismol. Well, one time um, I did give her a uh, um, Advil, and um, well, every time I called her name, what she would do was she she, she would roll around on the floor and and bark and run in circles, and she she would make humping motions in the air. Yeah, well. And I mean, I I just really couldn't comprehend what was no, going on. Uh, your best bet would be to take take them to the vet and let the vet. You know, take a check on him and see. You know, he may he may recommend something to harden up the stools, and you won't have this runniness. You know. But then, what if she? But what what do I do about the smearing in the coat? Oh gosh, uh, I have no idea what to tell you. Ask your veterinarian. I mean, have you brought this up to your veterinarian? Oh, of course. And my vet, that's where my veterinarian suggested beatings. Oh beatings. gosh, I've never heard of a a vet. <laughs> uh, Recommending beating a dog. I mean, oh well, yes. Once, once right in front of me, he kicked the shit out of her, and I, I mean, I kind of got upset. Yeah. Hmm. Well, I don't know. I think I'd change vets then. You think so? Yeah. But he's real. He's real good with dogs. He's real good. Uh, darn! I don't know what to tell you. I would, uh, like I say, you know, if if it's the runs. Uh, Pepto Bismol. Yeah. Well, how? Um, what if I were to bring you a little bit of um, stool in a bag? You, could you examine it or oh, something I, for we're, me? We're not a we're not a veterinarian. We're we're just a grooming. So uh, I have no idea. You know, so we just do grooming. Uh, so that's why I say you, know, you need to. Well, would you be willing to clean it up for me weekly? Weekly? Yes. Uh, you're gonna have to 
to talk with my wife on that one. Okay. Uh, and she's not here. I guess the best thing for you to do would be to well, call back and... Well, um, does your wife put a lot of elbow grease into it? Because my dog really smears the shit in pretty deep. <laughs> Sounds like a nasty little dog. What kind well, of actually, is it? it's um, a purebred. What kind is it? What kind? Yeah. A chihuahua, of course. A chihuahua. A little chihuahua. Are you, are you laughing at my chihuahua? No. Uh, Wait a second. All this, all this, you're Hello? having all this problem with, with a, a chihuahua. I don't find it funny. Hey, look. You called up asking... Wait a second, are you trying to start trouble? Dead, 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 dead,